Get ready to match the star. Maury Amsterdam. Brett Summers. George Kirby. Joanne Blue. Richard Dawson. And Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Raymond. You don't wave until they're ready to go, I'll tell you what. Thank you, Johnny Olson, and thank you for joining us. Friends here on Match Game 74. Good morning. Good, good morning. afternoon, good, good evening. evening. I don't know when we're on. Let's take no chances. We're on 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Western. I, I would like to say something. Go well, ahead. I'm so you're not allowed. <laughs> yes. Sitting between Maury with yeah. that on and uh, George Kirby with that on, I feel like I'm in Pinocchio's. <laughs> 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 Well, they're both gaily and colorfully oh, attired. they certainly are. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> That's the, the real Cary Grant over there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, how it is. How are you, Cary? Oh, I'm fine, fine. Good, good. What's good, your new good. project there? Having what? a fine time up here. That's good. Yes, indeed. Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, here are two players, Jack Holder and Rose Carter. How are you today, Jack? Hi, thank you. That's the current champ with $1,200 to his credit. He's being challenged by Rose, and uh, we've had uh, one round of questions for each of them, and we had no score. Uh, we're going to start round two and see how that turns out right after we do a little business with you. Here it is, America. All right, here we go with round two, and Rose Carter, our challenger, will make a selection. A, please. A. Everybody plays because she didn't match anybody in the first time, as you remember. Say, did you hear what happened to the tidy bowl man? No. He got blank. <laughs> he got blank. He got blank. The question is, Rose, did you hear what happened to the tidy bowl man? He got blank. Do I enunciate clearly enough? Not blanked, but blank. B-L-A-N-K. All right. Cary Grant is still, well, he no, didn't, Cary Grant's still wrong, he didn't he? spell too good there. Okay, Rose Carter. Did you hear what happened to the tidy bowl man? He got blank. Flushed. Flushed. I thought that only happened when you were playing poker. <laughs> All right, Maury, she said he got flushed. <laughs> Evidently, we have the same John. Flushed. There's one. <laughs> What are you scratching your hand? That means you're gonna kiss a fool. No, you're mad, Patrick. Go ahead, show us your card. You know, I what? Show us your card. Oh, <laughs> I, you know he travels in that little boat. Yeah. I, I thought he fell out and got drowned. He got drowned. <laughs> yep. Okay. What well, did you say, sir? I thought the same thing. I thought he got drowned. Drowned. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's... Uh... Well, you know, I always get embarrassed on the show because I think of things and I don't want to write them down and they say them. So I wrote something down and I hope it matches because it's flushed. Flushed. That's two for you. Okay. Now let's see if you match Richard. You obviously don't know, Rose, where that fellow is. He's in the other part of the... That's right. ...with his little boat. That's right. To get flushed, you have to be... That's it. That's right. I didn't know you were an inspector. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the Washington plumbers. <laughs> he got wet. He got no. wet. Yeah. Okay. No. Flushed is the answer she's looking for. Let's see what Betty White offers here. In the face, he got flushed. Flushed. Okay. So there's three. Now, Jack, you need three to match, four to win. The fair damsel said, in the castle, for extra protection, I keep a blank under my bed. <laughs> said the fair damsel. Sweetheart, swing it again, but in rags. The fair damsel said, in the castle for extra protection, I keep a blank under my bed. Oh. <laughs> all right. Did you hear all of that, Jack? Yes. The, the fair damsel said, in the castle for extra protection, I keep a blank under my bed. And we're waiting for Sir Richard to finish, and now he's finished. Oh now, my. you tell us, Jack, if you've had time to think it over. I keep a blank under my bed. What did she keep under there? A knight. A knight? Well, 
I, 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 I don't know how much protection that'd be. <laughs> I mean, if Sir Richard were under that bed, as uh, well, oh, go ahead. dog out on a night like that. <laughs> I know only old-fashioned girls. I put down chastity belt. <laughs> That's, uh, boy, I must say, <laughs> that's not going to be much protection if she keeps it under the bed, is it, then? She knows what she's doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're a tough act to follow, aren't we? <laughs> Go ahead. You don't keep a knight under the bed, sweetheart. No. I won't tell you where you keep him if you're lucky, but you don't keep him under. I put chamber pot remembering my own use. Before there was plumbing. I'll smash you with my chamber pot. Okay, George. Well, I, I think he and I must uh, uh, read a lot of history because I said night. A night. That was one, Jack. You need two more to stay in the game, and you got three uh, celebrities here to choose from. Let's choose this lady. Well, in all the fairy tales that I ever read, yep. for protection, they always had a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> Two to go here, you gotta match them both. Let's see if you match Richard. <laughs> a dragon, huh? A dragon. <laughs> well, let's see what you have, Smarty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're gonna regret this. I always keep a sword a under sword my bed. A sword under the bed. And Betty, what you have? Congratulations. Got $100 for you. Stand by for a moment. We got to say goodbye to Jack Holder. He's going to leave here with $1,200. Jack, it's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. Jack Holder is going, folks. There goes Jack Holder. <laughs> okay, that's enough there. Now, this lady here is going to have a go at the big money in a moment or so, but first we've got to do a little business with you, and this is it. Here we are with Rose Carter. She's going to have a go at over $5,000 now. Are you ready, Rose? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank timer. Oh! Blank timer. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, it's $250. And the third, $100. Which celebrities would you like an assist from? Uh, Maury. Maury. How do you fill that in? Blank timer. Two-timer. Two-timer. One. Betty. Betty? Old timer. Old timer. And Joanne. Oh, you would and ask me. Joanne. I can't think of anything. Well, we'll give you a second to think. Blank timer. Would you say Blank. old two timer? <laughs> <laughs> and old two timer. She did say it. She did say it. Yeah. Okay, so you got a two timer and you got old timer. Now, as the answer uh, you give us, you may choose one of those or give us one of your own. You'll be on your own if you want to. What do you want to do? Uh, I'll take two-timer. You'll take two-timer? Yes. <laughs> you really want a two-timer? Oh, yes. You're going to regret that? I don't know. I have no idea what's up there. Lovely, she says. <laughs> okay, two-timer is the answer she's looking for. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. First, may we see the $100 response? Two-timer it is, right off the bat. Congratulations. We had $100 for it. Well, I guess old timer's got to be up there somewhere. Maybe you see the $250 response. Ed timer. Old timer's got to be up there somewhere. That's the one. Let's see the $500 response. Old timer. Old timer. That's the answer Betty gave you. Okay. Now, you've got the $100. You're going to play for 10 times that amount or 1,000 to collect. You've got to match one celebrity. Which one will it be? Richard. Present. You are chosen. <laughs> I just dozed off. Those quick yes. naps are marvelous. You'll face me if you would, please. Here's a thousand dollar question, Richard. Okay. Blank Rogers. All right. Now, what answer, Rose, uh, comes to your mind in order to match Richard Dawson? Blank Rogers. Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. Okay, Roy Rogers is her answer for $1,000. May we see yours, sir? I did write Buck Rogers. You did write Buck Rogers. Then I threw it away. You threw it away. And then what happened? Then you wrote Roy Rogers. I wish I did. I wrote Ginger Rogers. Ginger Rogers. Well, if you'd boo Ginger Rogers after all those movies she made. 
<laughs> she got up so early in the morning. That's right. I'm sorry, my darling. That's okay. Listen, Ginger Rogers is good. Buck Rogers is good. Roy Rogers was good. They're all good answers. Arthur Rogers is a good. Arthur is terrific. <laughs> Okay. Cigar business. Right. She likes to give him a plug once in a while. Two hundred dollars is what you have now, Rose, and you also have the opportunity to meet another player right now and play another game. Here comes Ellen Loretta. There's Ellen Loretta. Hello, Ellen. Hello. You know Rose Carter? Yes, I do. Current champion who's won two hundred dollars. How are you, Ellen? Fine, thank you. Good. What do you do and all that sort of thing? Well, I'm married to a banker, and we live in Mexico City, where we've been on foreign assignment for about two years. And I have a little boy, two and a half, who's bilingual. And um, we enjoy watching your show. We get it every day in, in Mexico City. You do? Every what, day. What, do they sneak it across the border? <laughs> Don't take it away from us, please. We love it. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious. I just didn't know about that. How do they get it down there? We have cable vision that comes in oh, from I Texas. Oh, I see. Well, good. Nice to have you here with us. Thank good luck you. to you. I'll push a button, reveal two questions in round one, and ask you, Ellen, as a challenger, to make a selection. B, please. B is what she wants, and B is what the lady with the pretty green eyes gets. Okay. Yeah. Yule Gibbon said... Mm. So sick of Yule Gibbon. <laughs> You do, do you do Yule Gibbons, George? Do I do Yule Gibbons? Why, well, certainly I'm Yule Gibbons. <laughs> well, he does Yule Gibbons, Gibbons there. I'm getting, ready to, I'm getting ready to eat the microphone and the entire table. <laughs> you to take a bite out of my arm. Yes. Yeah. Yule Gibbons said, next year, I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire blank. <laughs> You'll give and set next year. I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire blank. Now, if you get this program down in Mexico City, you must get Yule Gibbons down there, yes, too. Yes, we do, once you've in a seen, while. You've seen Yule Gibbons, okay. Yes. All right. nuts can be fun. We're waiting for... Can I do an old no. answer? No. That's You're all finished, and now she's all finished. And now we'll call Eleanor. Uh, yeah, Ellen. Yule Gibbon said, next year I'm planning the biggest feat of my life. I'm going to eat the entire... The entire thing. The entire thing? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They're on you. I don't know what they have in mind. We'll find out right now what they have in mind. Which, which answer will be applauded the most is what they have in mind. Maury? <laughs> well, if I was him yeah. and got tired of toothpicks and all that stuff, I'd eat the whole forest. That's the answer. You got it? You're going to show it to us? Yeah, you got forest on his card. All right, Brett. There are many edible things in the forest. <laughs> One of them is the whole forest. One of them. <laughs> George? My friend, fabulous feast would be to eat the entire forest. Ah. You said it, Sid old bean. How about you, Joanne? Well, I think it was a very big, big forest, so I spelled it with two R's. Okay. <laughs> eat the whole forest. And what would you eat, sir? I um, would eat Forrest Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Tucker. <laughs> okay. Forrest Tucker. Now, her answer is, uh, the biggest feat of my life, I'm going to eat the entire thing. What do you say? What would you call the Empire State Building? Isn't Hang that on. a thing? Empire State, that's a thing, all right, but it's not the entire thing. There. So you didn't score with that at all, uh, Ellen, I'm sorry to say. We've got a first-round question for Rose coming up. But first, friends, we've got this message of interest for you. What is going on? Are you all ready now? Are you all fixed up? I just moved from downstairs. I see. Okay. They stole my chair. Oh, all right. We're all set here. To carry on with uh, the second half of round one. Rose, you ready? Yes. All right, listen to this carefully now. Brett said... Ah, uh, I don't Brett want to said, hear it. There's that man on a buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> what a lousy imitation that is. That man on the buzzer will be nice to me today. I've got his blank locked in my dressing room. That man on the buzzer will be nice to me today. I've got his blank locked in my dressing room. Is what Brett said. Hello, Doc. Hello, sweetheart. I bet George could do me. Yeah. Well, he does everybody. I used to do senators. My case comes up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imitate Brett, George? You haven't been around long enough. Not long enough. Yeah. Tomorrow he'll be. Tomorrow able he'll be able to do it. Nobody's been around long enough. <laughs> Okay. One exception. 
All right, let's get a response from Rose now. Brett said, that man on the buzzer will be nice to me today. I've got his blank locked in my dressing room. Wallet. 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 Oh, the R's are out again. All together. Ah. Okay. Men. <laughs> Marty, she well, says she wallet. was on the right track because she, this fella kept his wallet in his pants. Pants. <laughs> Okay, what does Brett say? I'll tell you what I've got locked in his dressing room. His children, and he's not going to get them back until, until he shakes he up. Okay. <laughs> Abandoned ship. No. <laughs> no. Say excuse me. Say you're sorry, and you'll never do it again. Apologize. All right. Uh, George? Well, Stanley, I thought he was a heavy eater. And I said his lunch. His lunch. All right. I'll, uh, Oliver, what do you say well, there? Well, I said, everyone would know, that to keep him from buzzing his buzzer, you'd keep his buzzer hidden in his dressing room. That's very logical. What a great mind. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, no. No, I'm making up. All right. <laughs> what do you no, say, I Rich? think that's the only answer. Right. If you want to be buzzerless, where do you keep in your dressing room? El Bazero. Buzzer. That's As they would say in Mexico City. Yeah, El Bazero. Thank you. Now, what does Betty White say? And knowing that this is a, a direct quote from Brett, you see, he does. He keeps, if you don't want him to... I misunderstood the question. I thought they said boozer. I <laughs> 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 So we got no wallets there, and so at the end of round one, we have no score. And we'll go right on to round two and ask Ellen to make a selection. I'll try B again. B is what she wants. Very close game. Yep, very close game. <laughs> <laughs> Little Orphan Annie. Waste of time you reading those last two questions. <laughs> little Orphan Annie is a very generous little girl. She donated her blank to charity. <laughs> donated her blank to charity, Little Orphan Annie. Little Orphan Annie is a very generous little girl. She donated her blank to charity. I guess you know who Little Orphan Annie is. Yes, I do. All right. Wait a week. Goes a little Wait chatterbox. La da 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 dee da dum. Da 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 da. It's a little orphan Annie. Okay. Still ready. Now, Ellen Loretta. Little orphan Annie is a very generous little girl. She donated her blank to charity. Well, she doesn't have any eyes, so I guess she gave them to charity. Her eyes to charity. I think that's a good answer. The audience agrees with you. All right, Maury, what do you, you say? You can tell I'm also an orphan Annie addict. That's she right. donated her eyes. Hey. Yeah. yeah, Brett? Well, I thought she Good was... answer. His, his was a very good answer. I don't want you to make you feel bad if you don't have eyes, but he had a very terrific answer. You want answer me to that. cry on the air? Again? No. <laughs> no. Her dog, Sandy. Oh. Oh. George. Well, I, I, I wouldn't give up my pet because I'd love my dog, and, and I wouldn't give up my eyes because I want to see, but I would give up my allowance that Daddy Warbucks give me. Okay. <laughs> allowance. Eyes is the answer Ellen's looking for, Joanne. I uh, liked what's her name's answer in the top row. Oh, really? Yeah. That's something I think of was her dog that would dog mean a Sandy. lot to her. Okay. So. And you, sir, what do you say? That answer's not all. I say, why don't we get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's that's a very good line. Right. The eyes have it. Eyes have it. That's two for Ellen. Eyes. I think it's a match. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> so that's three for you, and your question is yet to come. But before anything else happens, we've got this for you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Almost caught the producer on camera there, but we missed because he's nimble of foot. Ladies, we've got to hold it up right here. In the middle of round two, we'll pick it up with your question next time we get together. Okay? Look forward to seeing you. Listen, again, you were splendid. That's two in a row. Right? I don't know how long you're going to be able to keep this up, I but please know. do. Because, <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> it's the end. From now on, it's downhill. downhill. Yeah. Right. I notice you keep doing this all the time. Why? When I was a kid, it meant two beers. <laughs> <laughs> mean. Peace, sir. Isn't that the current thing, what it means? It means vanquished. Vanquished <laughs> means something different Bob to Hill everyone. Georgia. <laughs> no, it means is there a sailor in town? <laughs> Go, yeah. Go, yeah. find him, Brett. Go, yeah. Gene Raymond from Match Game 74. Join us next time. Bye.